Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Name of the app that you are seeing on the screen is Sensor Box for Android. This amazing and beautiful app contains nine different types of sensors like accelerometer sensor, light sensor, orientation sensor, proximity sensor, temperature sensor, gyroscope sensor, sound sensor, magnetic sensor and pressure sensor. I will demonstrate each sensor one by one so that you can understand how to use this app to know about various useful sensors that are present in your mobile. This app not only tells you what sensors your mobile contains and see them working but also it can be helpful in testing whether your all mobile sensors working properly or not. But before demonstrating its working let me tell you how can you download this app from the Play Store. All you need to do is just to type sensor box for Android in the Play Store and you will find this app. You can also click on the link directly to download the app. Please check the download link in the description of this video. So let's see all these sensors one by one. The first sensor is the accelerometer sensor. I am just clicking on this. You can see this ball is moving as I am moving my mobile phone. This accelerometer sensor is used in various uh, games, mobile games, where we need to move the character or any object by moving our mobile phone. So you can see if I move my mobile to the left side, it will move towards the left. And if I move my mobile towards the right side, then the ball will move towards right. You can also turn on the graph to see the motions graph. And if I'm moving it uh, forward, tilting it in the forward direction, ball is moving in the same direction. And if I'm moving it in another direction vertically, then it is moving downwards. So you can move it in any way. So it is telling me that my mobile contains the accelerometer sensor and it is working properly. You can see all uh, hardware details related to this uh, accelerometer sensor here like name vendor version power maximum range and resolution so this was the accelerometer sensor let's see the next sensor the next sensor in this app is the light sensor but as i click on this you see the message sorry your device hardware does not support this sensor as my mobile does not have this sensor but this app contains this facility if your mobile has this sensor then you can check this light sensor also the next sensor is the orientation sensor let's click on this this orientation sensor here you can see that uh, it tells about the orientation of the mobile if the mobile phone is placed on a perfectly even level then this dot will be placed at the center of this circle and uh, as you can see here there are two bars horizontal bar and vertical bar when this dot this bubble is at the center of the circle then its horizontal and vertical dots will be at their respective centers but if I move the mobile phone in the left side or right side then this bubble will move towards the left or right side as you can see so only the horizontal bar is horizontal bubble is moving in the bar but if i move the mobile phone in the vertical directions like uh, i i tilt it in the forward or reverse directions then there will be motion in the bubble of the vertical bar so you can observe this but on placing it on a perfect uh, even level then this dot will be in the center of the circle and also at the centers of these two vertical and horizontal bars so you can also observe the azimuth pitch and roll of this uh, orientation sensor hardware information is also present like name vendor version power maximum range and resolution so let's see now another sensor now we will see our next sensor that is the proximity sensor click on this proximity sensor so what is the purpose of this proximity sensor when something comes close to this proximity sensor which is present into your mobile this will detect its presence like here I am uh, putting my hand close to this sensor 
or you can say close to the mobile phone then this flower will blossom so you can see how it is detecting the presence of my hand and its absence okay do you know where we use this proximity sensor actually in mobile it is used at uh, various places like uh, when you attend a call and uh, put your mobile phone near to your face then it's uh, you might have observed that its uh, screen light turns off to save the battery this proximity sensor detects your face and turns off the mobile screen light so in this way this proximity sensor is used at various places these are the hardware details our next sensor is the temperature sensor but this temperature sensor is not present so it is written here it is not supported by my mobile phone after this comes the gyroscope sensor this is the gyroscope sensor why we use this gyroscope sensor in our mobile phones actually this gyroscope or gyro in short it can be understood as a device which is used to maintain a reference direction actually it provides a stability in navigation or stabilizers and finds uh, various applications in our mobile phones the accelerometer that we just disc could only detect left right forward and reverse tilting of the mobile phone. but the gyroscope sensor adds another facility as it can also detect the rotation or the twisting of the mobile phone along with these left right forward and reverse tilting it is used in various places like uh, to provide stability in navigation and stabilizers in the smartphone and in various games where we need the movement of the character or the object by the movement of our mobile phone so this was the gyroscope sensor you can see x y and z coordinates in radians per second that are displayed on this screen here is the hardware information related to the gyroscope sensor now we will see the sound sensor so click on this so here is the sound sensor beautiful sound sensor it is recording and making graph of the strength of my voice as i am speaking it is drawing the graph of uh, this in decibels okay you can see on the sound sensor meter the strength of my voice in decibels and variations in the form of graphs as i am speaking volume at low or high volume so this was all about the sound sensor now we will see the magnetic sensor here is the magnetic sensor so why we use magnetic sensors in mobile phones actually the magnetometer or the magnetic sensor it lets us measure the magnetic field around us by using the magnetic sensor nowadays modern android mobile phones and iphones have magnetometer or the magnetic sensors built in they can be used to measure the magnetic field strength around us with the help of this magnetic sensor we can detect metallic objects like uh, objects made of steel or iron around us so whenever there is any metallic object near us then the magnetic field level will be increased now i will demonstrate you how the magnetic strength level increases as i move this uh, sensor or my mobile phone to my laptop you see that the magnetic strength level is rising at this place it becomes red so you can now understand how harmful these laptops and mobile phones are as it is becoming red because of its high strength you can see the graph also if i take it away from the laptop then the level of this uh, magnetic strength decreases you see here it is high when i am near to this laptop and it becomes low when i move away from this laptop you can see at the low levels it is in green color and when it is at high level the strength of the magnetic field is high it becomes red so it is harmful with this also you can understand why we say that we should keep mobile phones and laptops away from us the next sensor that 
is present in this app is the pressure sensor but this pressure sensor is not available in my mobile phone so i cannot show you but if it is present then you can check it so friends this was all about uh, different kinds of sensors that were present in this sensor box app but my mobile did not have uh, three sensors out of these total nine sensors if your mobile has these sensors, you can check these remaining three also so friends if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends friends you can also write in the comment section which sensor you liked the most and why for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take